Let's take a look at the chart of accounts in Dynamics GP. If your chart of accounts is already set up, you can take a look at it by going to Cards, Financial, and Account. This will bring up the Account Maintenance screen. In this screen, you can add new accounts or you can edit existing accounts. To look up an account, you can click on the magnifying glass and you'll get your complete list of all accounts in your chart of accounts. You can sort this by account number or description by clicking on the column header in this lookup. You can type in a description of that account and tab off it and you'll find that account. Let's take a look at this account here. I'm going to select it. And there are a couple things here that are very important. Number one is the posting type. The posting type can be either a balance sheet or a profit and loss. And this only affects the system at the year end when you close out the general ledger. So you want to make sure that all your accounts are designated properly as either balance sheet accounts or profit and loss accounts. Also, if you want to specify a typical balance, you can do that as debit and credit. This may help you in your reporting. Also, you'll want to look up a category for each account to make sure that there's a category assigned to it. And additionally, I wanted to show you another way to scroll through your chart of accounts is to use these buttons at the bottom. You can scroll through, and as I hit the advanced button, you can see it'll scroll through. I can scroll backwards. So let's look at the chart of accounts. Now, if you do not already have your chart of accounts set up, let's take a look at how you would set those up. The first thing you want to do is check out your account framework. So go to Dynamics GP here, go to Tools, go to Setup, go to Company, and then the Account Format. Here you'll see an account format, and what you can do here is there's a maximum that's set up in the system. You cannot change that, but you can change the workable segments. So you can designate your chart of accounts from one up to the maximum in your system. Here I've got three segments. If I want to, I can change the name of that segment. I can change the length of the segment as well, as long as it's equal to the maximum or less. And then what I want to do also is select a main segment, and I'm going to select the one called Main. And when you're done with that, then you're ready to go back to the Account Maintenance screen and start adding your new chart of accounts. This is just a quick overview of the chart of accounts in Dynamics GP so that you can get started using your accounts using Dynamics GP. Thank you.